Hi, this is Glenn Davis from Lenexa, Kansas, and today I'm going to try and show you the guitar parts for three bangle songs, uh, Hazy Shade of Winter, which is mostly a riff, uh, Walk Like an Egyptian, that has one short solo in it, well, yeah, one short solo in it, and then the song Want You, that has a, a, a really difficult riff, and I think it is anyway, and it has two solos in it, so that's a, but that's a great song. Three or four weeks ago, I was uh, listening to some music videos, and I came across this song, Want You by the Bangles, and it's the first time I ever heard that song, and I, it, let me tell you, it really blew me away. It's one of the hottest songs I ever heard, so I had to learn how to play it, and I thought, well, it was still fresh in my mind, I would put it out there, and then as an afterthought, I thought I'd put the guitar for two other songs, too, but, um... Yeah, I didn't even know who Vicki Peterson was, but when I seen her play in that song of one of the concerts she was at, you know, video of it, yeah, I, I couldn't believe how much passion she played with and how good she could sing to it. And the riff is really fast and, and hard to do, and yet she was able to sing with it. So, I, you know, I like the solo she plays. Um, so I really, and she wrote this song too, the song One You Her, and I think maybe uh, um, the other lady, Hoffs, uh, sang, helped her write the song. Anyway, I liked it, so I thought I'd put this out, and I hope it helps somebody who's trying to learn how to play it. Um, just in case you hear any barking during the video, I might be joined later by my dog, Ellie. Sometimes she walks in on my sessions. Um, people say she's not the smart, smartest dog, but she is very friendly. You know, I don't care much what they say. I, that's the same thing they say about me, and it goes in one ear and out the other. So let's get started uh, on the solos here, and I'll, I'll do my best to, to show them to you. Thank you. Okay, the first song we're going to do is Want You, and that's by far the most difficult of the three songs we're going to do today. Uh, and I should apologize to you, I'm not much of a singer if you have a a very discerning ear for music, you would probably figure that out on your own. But I have to try and sing to it because it's important to show you the song. So here we go. The first riff, it starts out on the E string, uh, fifth fret, an A note, you hit it twice, then go up to the eighth fret, down to the A string on the fifth fret, the sixth, and three times on the seven the D string on the 5th, and the D string on the 7th. So it's... And it's kind of tricky now, the way the words I thought it was go over that, because the first verse says, I don't want to sleep, go on and speak. And I might mess up a word or two. But uh, the word speak comes over uh, these two, the first two notes of the next riff. So it goes something like this. I don't want to sleep, go on and speak. And now, now comes the hard part. The next variation to this riff, it goes So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to play the first part again, but when I come to the second part, it goes wearing out the cart, but with my feet, you're going to see that go to a D, C, D, G, E. Ready? I don't want to sleep, go on and speak. another verse it goes you don't know how bad you got me hooked. I hate myself cause you don't like my looks I want you now 
now we change the riff. Instead of going down here, we go. And from there, and so got that, it's. And then from there, we go on to the next part of the song that goes. Ooh, I, ooh, I. And that's an A minor, C, D, E, and back to I want you. And from there, um, we go into the first solo, which is just. times. What the solo is doing there, again, right after the hold down the first two strings on the fifth fret and hit them twice, then go to the G string, the D string, back to the G string. And you'll notice this is a minor pentatonic pattern. But most of it's on the, the fifth and seventh fret. You hit the, the B string on the eighth fret once in the solo. So again, the first part is. And then we do it again, but instead of coming down to the G, we're going to stay up on the D. And we start out on the D string. We go down two frets and go. To the B string, or excuse me, the G string, so you see once we get down to the G string, we, we're going back and forth between the B and the G a little bit there, so it's Then this uh, eighth fret, and that's all there is to the first solo. Once more, I'm going to do it for you because it's important. starts right in singing with the riff this time it goes uh, everything's still playing in my head twisting and I'm crying in my bed I want you want you it's not fair second solo and that's going to be a G A G A D and an E way up here so after we do this it's um let me see so just hit the G and then start on a G string and go back up to the D and an A Slide it up. And hit a D chord. And play an E chord way up here. And then stretch the G string. Hit the E. So that's... And 
it goes back to the riff. Here I am still trying to erase Everything, your voice, your smile, your face And I want you Here's the final variation on the riff. At this point, instead of going back up, we hit this string we finished on twice. Then here. And that's the whole song, Want You. Uh, that should give you enough information that you can play it. That's the riff and two solos and all the variations of the riff. Next song we're going to go over is... Walk Like an Egyptian. Uh, you should know that little melody, and there's only one solo in the song. So let me show you that melody. I start on the 14th fret, go to hit it once. I hit the 11th fret on the E string four times back to the 14th fret on the B and the E back to the 11th 12th fret so it's It doesn't sound good that slow, it's... But that's the melody, you should know that. And some place at the end I go up here to this, um... I guess it's the 11th fret I started on. Yeah. Or you can play it down here in a B string, it's a little... Uh, reasonable part of the neck. It's... Always hit this twice first, then So that's what you have to know on those guitar parts. Uh, the song is all in B and E throughout the song, and when she, the solo is played, it, it goes to D and B. So the song goes... All the old paintings on the tomb, they do the sand dance, don't you know? Do 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 way oh, they fall down like dominoes. A couple more verses, and then it goes to the uh, E chord here and goes, All the types with the hookah pipes go way oh, way oh, way oh, way oh. Walk like an Egyptian, then it goes to the D. And what Vicky does there on the 7th fret, she holds the G and B strings down and goes, stretches them, and then goes into the, so that's, and then on the G string 7th fret, it's, now we slide up. Two frets right on the D string and back here back to the D string the B string and the G string and then the E string so all together it sounds like and then we slide up here just hit a D and go okay so it's on this fret here the 11th fret then we slide up and do the same thing we did before and then finally we go back up here again hitting the D 
and she ends with this odd note here. You know, just a B string on the 12th fret. And you know, it's... And then this. That's pretty much all the guitar parts to walk like an Egyptian. Okay, we're going to do Hazy Shade of Winter, just the guitar parts. I'm going to try and get through this one rather quickly. So the, the main rift is through it, because there's no solos or anything. It starts with the uh, F minor. It's, um, I think it's in the key of A flat, and that's the relative minor to A flat. Anyway, it starts out on an F note, the 8th fret of the A string, hit it twice go down to the D string, then the G string on the 5th fret, back up, then we go up to the A string, ending on the D string. I count a 7 count to do that. It's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the second half starts on the ninth fret of the E string, down to the A, D string, and then we stretch this, and then. So here we ended on the G string. When we did it up here, we ended on the D string. So the whole thing is... And that's all there is to the riff. Uh, there's a couple fills I put in here. Let's see. When it's going down... Um, let me see. It's a hazy shade of winter here, the Salvation Army Band. I go. Just start on the D string, hit it twice. And the G string, and the B string. Finish with the E. It sounds like there's some horns playing in the background on the record, and that's what it sounds like to me. Down by the riverside, it's bound to be a better rider. What you have planned, carry your cup in your hand. I hear bass uh, running up a scale there, so I fill the notes in what I think I hear the bass doing. Uh, Vicky's not doing that on the guitar, I just do it. I don't have a bass player backing me up, so it's... So it's... In the sky The only other um, fill I put in then is um, right near the end after it goes. Seasons change with the scenery, weaving time in a tapestry. I do this, won't you stop and remember me. When the bangles play it, I can hardly hear them if they play this C here. Um, maybe I got that from Simon and Garfunkel, I don't know. but I. I hit that hard C and then go back to So it's Seasons change with the scenery Weaving time in a tapestry Won't you stop and remember Me, me And then what Vicky does right here sometimes uh, You know, she just goes back to After her sister hits the drumsticks a little bit 
But if they're adding the fourth verse, well, she's on the F minor, she hits. So it goes. She's holding the F minor. Uh, yeah, and then it goes three times on the B string, once on the G, and again on the G down, two frets down. At any convenient time. Funny how my memory skips. And, and that's what it plays there. So that's all the fills I do. Again, it's the, the main riff, the little... The... And I'm not going to go over all the chords. I, you can get that any place. Okay, well, I hope you like those three songs. I, I know I don't make the highest quality videos, and I'm not the best instructor. But there's a lot of good information here, and I hope I've uh, achieved helping somebody who was looking to maybe play some of the guitar parts in those songs. So thanks for listening, and have a nice day, and be nice to everybody. Again, thanks.